I've been quitting on my piano beat a lot lately and I enjoy the process. But one of the problem or one of the most challenging part of it is like make your low drum sit right in your mix. And it was hard. I tried, sometimes I try to bring my log drum up a little bit and then I feel that the mix is booming. When I try to bring it down a little bit and then I feel, ah, oh, this is not good that not hit hard like i wanted so i try to find a way to to get this done and i'm gonna share that with you in the video also i see that some of you asked for mixing and mastering tutorial on my comment section and this is it let's see if we can uh create a nice sounding mix normally when i'm creating my beat i start right away with the mixing because i had a lot of processing going on and uh, when i'm making my beat and this is the beat we're going to make today. Let me go where we are at the loudest peak. I just add some salsa. I know some of y'all wanna say, hey, this is not a map piano. I know. <laughs> but this is a vibe. Ooh. And now? Okay, what we're going to do in this video is like, I'm going to show you or I treat or I process my drum, my melody and after my low drum. And this beat is definitely one of my favorite Ama Piano beats. I started on Logic Pro guys. And then when I wanted to get it done, I said, okay, you know what? Let me export the stems and then let me get it done in FL Studio. I love what I created so far in Logic Pro. And I definitely think I love Logic Pro for tracking vocal, mixing vocal, and I don't like it to produce beat like to for beat making. I don't like Logic for beat making. It is good though, but I, it's not my thing. The first thing is to wire everything to your mixer. I, this is what I did. You can see that I have everything right here. One other thing, I have this drum. From Logic Pro, and it sound good, no process at all. And when I add the shaker, you can see that my drums hit about minus 18, minus 18. And when I go and then Try to add some melody. Let me show you the melody that I add. I think I have this. I have my guitar. Without the drums. Guys, those are just numbers. <laughs> Everybody create beat at a level so it's not gonna be at we are all, all gonna be at the same volume but at the end you will need some headroom for the master so when i drag everything from logic i feel the need to bring down those a little bit so let me show you some of the process that i made uh, for example on that guitar right here Normally you want your guitar to sound clean, nice. The first thing is to remove the low frequencies, frequencies that you don't want. And also you have bass, you have log drum. You always need to leave space for those elements. I remove those and I add the retro color. This gives you this uh, vintage vibe. And then with the wobble, that's make it sound a little bit more realistic. And without it, 
so if you exaggerate it sound better now and you add some reverb at this moment that's what i feel that this guitar needed and i just added when you're mixing don't try to be academic more academic just be creative if you feel that this this is the effect that i want to add to this sound to find this color just try it if it's not good you can definitely go back to the initial vibe that you have always try to do what you think there is not a good way of mixing a better way of mixing also i'm sorry for the background noise it's my air conditioner guys it is so hot here i cannot turn it off so if i add my log drum and my drums let's see that we have them without the melody and now the log drum sorry One thing you will hear is that we have two log drums. We have one that has mainly attack. And then we have a sub -E. How I deal with it, I make it like the sub uh, the sub log drum is here to support the main log drum, which is the one that have attack. Um, for example, for this one, I want to show you right here. If we go right here, that's the main log drum and then that the one that at the sub see on this one you are about minus 12 and then on the other one it does it is lower than the, the first one guys i find that with this distortion plugin you have the perception that is sound louder okay let me try to make it clear for y'all let's say that you have the log drum signal without the wave shaper plugin and it is at minus 12. you listen to it and then you add the wave shaper and you try to make it go to minus 12 and then it is at the same level like minus 12. when you listen to those you compare them you see that the one that has man the wave shaper on it at the same level which is minus 12 sound louder than the one that doesn't have the wave shaper. This happened because of the harmonic that the wave shaper add to the signal. You know that the wave shaper is a distortion plugin. Normally distortion plugin add more harmonic to your sound and then give the perception that it sound louder. This is how I made those log drum sit well in my mix. Also you can add a limiter to make sure that you, you don't go above this uh minus 12 you can definitely add a limiter you say hey you don't go louder than minus 12 and you will have a lot of headroom later for the mastering let me show you real quick you see that mean i have this right here add a lot of headroom to master when i was listening to my piano and doing my research i listened to tyler i see you uh, DJ Mafo is uh, a lot of Ama Piano songs that are trending right now. One thing that they all have in common is like the singer is the loudest uh, instrument on your mix. So I have, you have the singer, you have the log drum, you have the drums, and then you have all the other elements around those. But when I listen closely, it's like the log drum is not really loud. You have the perception that is loud, but it's not really loud. Cause sometime when I listen to, I, I, I think I was listening to one of Tyler ICU song. And then I say, hmm, maybe the log drum is at the same level at the, as the vocals. But when I listen, listen, uh, it's not at the same level. It's like you have the perception is it, it is at the same level. So this is how you can achieve to have those Ama Piano log drum that hit hard. And you can see that this guitar, what I just did on it, I just, uh, let me see, let me click on it. I just add a parametric EQ, remove the low frequency, and then add pancake so we can have this panning automation. Just trying to be creative. That's without mastering. And 
also you can see you, you listen to this melody it is really in the background of the instrumental and we have this also all those oh they are not loud one thing that i want you to be focused on is the gang stage and gangsta gen is the key of a good mixing you know where you want to put your vocal where you want to put uh your bass your drums and everything i know that i didn't want those sound to be in your face i want them to be in the background like you can you can hear them but they are not the first thing you will pay attention to for example this way if you listen closely but if it's not there you feel that it missed something see <laughs> Those details are gonna make your bass sound different than other producer and try to achieve your sound. Don't even think about, oh, I need to mix my beat like Sammy B. This is not the way to see it. You can use some of my technique and then you apply them, see what you want, if they can help you achieve the sound that you want, because every producer need to have his own sound. It's not like I wanna sound like this producer, I wanna sound like this. It's not like that. You need to have your own sound. If you guys have any question about mixing, uh, just ask them in the comment section so I can answer them in another video So this video is a little bit uh, different than what I used to do because you ask a lot about mixing and mastering for my piano So here it is <laughs> And for my master, I didn't do too much on my master I add this FL Studio Vintage Drive FL SSL Fusion Vintage Drive See, this bring everything up a little bit. Vintage drive. This is again distortion, guys. Without it, you can use any distortion plugin that you have. Camel Crusher has a really a clean British clean preset that is so crazy on the Camel Crusher. It sounds good too, you can use it. And I use Maximus. And for this one, it is soft. My knee, this soft is, the knee is soft. I don't do like hard compression on this one or hard limiter. And then at the end, I add the L1 Ultra Maximizer. maximizer you have to be careful because if you try to bring the trestle down too much it's gonna sound really crazy okay? you have to find the sweet part if you don't find the sweet part it's gonna sound crazy See? See? i tried the soft clipper on this beat and i didn't like it this is the reason why you can see that it's not active. I tried before using the L1 Ultra Maximizer. Like I told you, try stuff and then if they work, you keep it. If they don't work, you don't keep it. You move to the next thing. Let me know in the comment section what is your biggest problem when you're trying to mix your instrumental. Even if Afro beat, I'm a piano, or be any type of it. And I can make a video where I'm trying to answer your question and then try to find solution for y'all also guys let me know in the comment section if you want us to start with the uh beat review on sunday if you are interested still interested on having a beat review we can also do that where you send beat over to me and then we go live on youtube and then we listen to those instrumental try to give feedback to the producer and i think it was fun when we were doing it and we can still do it let me know in the comment section that's it for the video guys um uh, don't forget to go and then stream this instrumental it is on my instrumental channel it's gonna be linked in the description box and yeah that's it see you in the next one